Okay, so I had a problem here with yellow jackets in the ground, and this is in the yard of an 87-year-old woman, and uh, she can't mow or weed whack around her garden because of these little ground wasps, which are yellow jackets. So I'm going to do something different here. I don't normally use pesticides or insecticides anywhere on my own property, but uh, I had to do something definitive in this case, and I did use pesticide here. Now, it comes in a powder form. This is the one pound Delta Dust. And here's the jar. It is an insecticide. But as insecticides go, this is a very low key Delta Methrin, 0.05%. Now, for those of you who are curious about what that is, that's the same stuff that's put on many dog and cat flea collars. So it's considered extremely safe for mammals, extremely safe for people, unsafe for things like these yellow jackets. Now what I want to do here is because they activate when there's vibration, somebody walks by, rides a mower by, uses a weed whacker, I wanted to get them boiling out here and I want to see really what the population is in the ground. As it turns out, this is a very large nest of yellow jackets. Now for those of you who don't know, yellow jackets will come out in groups like this. They'll cling to your pant legs and they will sting you multiple times while they hold on and they sting in groups. So yellow jackets um, are very annoying and when it comes to very young people or pets or in this case an elderly woman, they can be actually dangerous and uh, can put someone to shock. So we're dusting them up here with the Delta Dust. Now, throughout this test, I used about 50% of this one pound container. I did not buy the uh, aspirator that some people use. I recommend that you really don't need that. You can just cut the tip off of the bottle here and uh, puff it right in. And I found that if you give it a nice long, even puff, it carries quite a distance down this hole. So I consider it to be probably the most effective for circumstances like this. Now something I do want you to notice, this is not what I would call a knockdown pesticide. So you're not going to go up to a, a nest of hornets with this uh, delta dust and puff it and expect them to fall out of the sky and die all around you. What they do do is fly out in every direction. These wasps were flying 100 feet or more as they came out. Of course they flew all over me. I am wearing protective clothing. And I also am wearing a respirator as a precaution, even though the uh, danger levels are extremely low when it comes to um, the risk to people. So again, Delta Methrin is the active ingredient. Delta Dust is the product. And uh, what I'm showing you here is a condensed uh, five minute review of what actually took place over a 25 minute time frame. What I did notice is the wasps came flying out and they took off and flew to nearby trees they flew onto grapevines they go in every direction so if you're going to walk out here without protection and puff a bunch of delta dust into a hole you need to be prepared to get under cover somewhere you need to have some protective clothing they are going to come out now remember i did thump the ground and i agitated them a little bit if you just walked up and uh, sprayed the dust in there i suppose the response would be much reduced but i like to get them active because i want uh, those that are in deep shelter to come out and uh, get through this dust and get it all over them and then i want them to carry that throughout the nest and what we're finding is out of preservation they come out and fly away and don't return now what was curious too the scouts those foraging wasps that have been out are constantly returning. They don't seem affected by the dust at all and they bomb right into the hole and uh, then ultimately they're going to die. So it's a slow process. Now some people say just get a hose and get some soapy water and pour it in there. Well the way they construct these uh, underground tunnel systems they're at multi levels and if the ground is pretty absorbent, which this is, it's a garden area, the water that you pour in is going to miss their primary brood chambers, which is what we really want to get with the dust. So soap and water might be a temporary fix to knock them down. It would not uh, kill the nest unless you did it multiple times and then of course covered and buried them 
until they die. This way it works uh, definitively. Their neurological support systems here are going to be knocked out by this delta methrin. And uh, as of this morning, so we're talking oh, about 18 hours after I did this, she does not see a single boss going in or out of this hole. So I would say that it worked extremely well. So as a knockdown, immediate killer, it is not a success, but as a definitive killer, if you have uh, overnight, if you have plenty of time to work with it, and you don't mind that they are gonna fly out while they're covered in this powder, it's a very, very effective, and what I consider to be a very safe pesticide, Delta Dust. So thanks for watching and I hope you benefited.